The question we're asking on verdict tonight, the age of stupid, can India be the deal maker on international climate change? SMS us India Space Yes or India Space No to 56388. You can also log on to NTTV.com to join this debate on Verdict Live. Well, India's Environment Minister spoke exclusively to NTTV Sarah Jacob. The point he's making is that India is willing to take a step towards cutting emissions, that they will do this voluntarily. He said that India will not be the deal maker, a deal breaker, but the deal maker. On the issue of climate change, India has been called, amongst other things, uncooperative, obstinate, in other words. So when you meet with leaders on this issue, are you feeling the heat? No, absolutely not. I think the world is completely wrong on this. I think we've got an image that is completely contrary to what we are actually doing. The message that I'm trying to convey is that we have not caused the problem of global warming, but we want to be part of the solution in Copenhagen. We want to be a deal maker, not a deal breaker. We are taking very aggressive adaptation measures. We are also being very aggressive unilaterally, voluntarily on mitigation. Uh, we are thinking of domestic legislation to uh, enhance a measure of credibility on our mitigation actions, and all our measures have been widely appreciated. Well, that was uh, Jairam Ramesh speaking to Sarah Jacob in New York, and let's just go across to my special panel now. I'm joined by Shekhar Kapoor uh, back in New Delhi after his visit to the Rotang Pass this morning. He's at the premiere of the movie, The Age is Stupid, which premieres across the world tonight, including in Delhi. I'm also joined by Dr. Sunita Narayan, Director of the Center of Science and Environment, and I'm also joined by William Bissell, Managing Director of Fab India and author of Making India Work. Shekhar Kapoor, if I can go across to you, it's been a long journey for you today from Rotang Pass back to New Delhi this evening. What motivated you to be part of this campaign? Well, A, because, you know, there's, I'm very, very concerned about climate change and I'm very concerned about the effects of climate change. And this was about glaciers that directly affects the way we have water. Um, and uh, I'm making a film about that, so I'm really involved with it. So when I heard that Greenpeace was making an effort to get uh, the people at UN uh, to, to try and listen to us because to go beyond politics into actually what's happening and how people feel and their idea was terrific. Shekhar, why don't you go to the glaciers? Talk from the glaciers where you can talk about it because these are glaciers that you have visited over the years as a boy and now and talk to them about what's happened so they can in reality see that, that the retreat of glaciers is not just a theory. It's an actuality. And there's a way that we always have this ability to make everything over dramatic and hide behind drama or make something fashionable or hide behind fashion or make it something political and hide behind politics or make it a statistics like, and hide behind statistics. So it was an attempt to say don't hide behind any one of these things because this, because you know what, water has actually dominated civilizations. When water has gone away, when rivers go away, civilizations have died. So if 1.3 billion people in Asia are actually nurtured by the waters that are let out in various rivers by the glaciers of, that, of the Himalayas, imagine in 25 or 30 years those glaciers are gone, they will not be nurtured, and civilization as we know will die. There will be a new civilization. But you know, history will look back at this and say, this civilization died of irresponsibility, this civilization died of greed. It's amazing that we don't recognize that. Tubar.com.